Okay, so we have the arm swinging, we have the tail. Actually, we should save this as the tail now. And uh, we can introduce this little, this little bindle and a stick. And let's fix some of the uh, layering here that should be in front. And the stick should be all the way in the back, okay. So he's gonna just to hold this thing now. So um, after doing all this with the arm, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna take it out and get that other arm back again. Cause I, I, need to, I need a separate arm, a separate instance of the arm in order to have him just kind of hold that thing unless let's see what I can do I can just be a little clever more clever about this it's already let's see what I can do here so a lot of swing on that let's find the pose where it's in a place I want it so I'm gonna remove the tween and I'm gonna remove all the tweens and I'm gonna get my frame picker in here again find where the arm is bent. I guess around 18, 16. Started there and kind of bump him up there. So now that's good. I just want it to be a single frame. So I was going to select it here and say, instead of, uh, instead of looping it, I'm just going to say hold it, single frame on 16 there. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to duplicate this, swap it with, I'll call this the uh, bent, bent arm bent far arm say okay now you're the bent far arm and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do a couple things I'm going to put a paw on frame 16 here and this is going to be a way I can keep it aligned so I'm going to go get the that I'm going to get the paw and I'm going to zoom in here I'm going to position it in a way I'm going to flip it other way and drop it in like that over top of the old one there like that. and I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna animate this so that it matches sort of the body swing a little bit So it's going to be up and then maybe back and the same thing here and let's tween those and I'm okay with that and then I'm going to now animate this stick to go along with him so the stick is here I need to make some adjustments to this stick, so it's going to be about like that. How's this little thing going to go here? It should look like it's on his shoulder, so let me take this whole arm. Here, let's do this. I'm going to go inside of this arm. Far arm. And what I could do, what I, what I want to do is I want to make this arm rotate down. But if I do it here, I have to do it to all of them. And if I do it with this, with all of these selected, it, uh, it I don't know if it's going to globally uh, rotate them around a single pivot or if it will rotate them around their own pivots. I have a feeling it's going to do it around, I don't know, I'm not even sure what it's going to do. But what I can be sure of is if I go inside of this symbol, it's a one-off anyways to get the pose right. If I go in here and I just do that the way I want it, it 
so it, it's gonna rest up. So it's gonna look like uh, there's enough of an arm bend that it's gonna rest on the six gonna rest on the shoulder, which is what I want to have happen. Then I'm okay there. All right, so that was a little minor tweak, but it's what I wanted. Okay, so now I can get the stick going here. About like that. And I don't want it to hit the tail if I can avoid it, but maybe it's, maybe I can't, maybe it's unavoidable, let's see. Something like that could work. That could work. How's that? Overall, that could work, okay. So, there's my stick. So let's just, I just have to make the stick track with the body. So, I don't know, it's, it's gonna be the same thing twice again. It's a, it's a half of the cycle. So, from here to here is good. And then up, stick's gonna travel up. And it's going to bend a little bit because it's flexible. And maybe that's good. Let's see what happens. Shape between that. Cool. All right, and we'll dupe that. Alt drag it to get the full cycle. Okay, that's what I want. It's pretty good. Uh, the paw doesn't look good because it's, you know, should be. Um, let's put that stick in front of the arm. And now the paw needs to be in front of the stick. And so we're going to take this far arm and we're going to duplicate the whole layer. Put it on top of the stick and we're going to call this far paw. And then we're going to do the same thing we did a moment ago. We're going to take, we're going to take this. We're going to swap this symbol. We're going to duplicate it with a new one. We'll call this bent far paw. Okay. And we want to make sure these are all that symbol. So we'll select all of the frames. I guess I don't mean that's my loop. Let's do this. Select all frames. Okay, cool. And we'll just select all of them. And we'll just make sure they are all, see, that says instance of, it doesn't know it's, it's multiple. So we'll just make sure it's all bent far paw. And it should work. What happened? Oh, nothing happened. I just had all the frames open. Okay, so we're almost there. So now, this bent far paw is identical to the bent far arm. Um, so why did I bother doing that? Because now, it, because it, everything is perfectly registered to the other one. If all I have to do now is just take the upper leg and lower leg and guide them out. I could delete them. Uh, there's no harm in leaving them in there. I just guide them out. And now it's perfectly aligned and I have my overlap. Otherwise I'd have to position everything by hand and you know this is already moving on arcs and everything because it's rotating way up here so it's just perfectly aligned. So that takes care of that. So now all that's left is getting this little sack to bounce. So let's go ahead and do that. The bindle here and it's going to be I want it to be way out here so Let's stretch this. Let's do this. Let's take the stick and let's select all of them. And I just want to stretch it out a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure they're all selected. All the frames, I just control A or drag a thing and I'm just gonna alt drag this way. And then unselect and see. Now I have enough like that this is not going to overlap the little bindle is not going to overlap with anything else so i'm going to take this now and we will unlock only the bindle. And my pivot is set 
And I don't need to go in to animate this on 25 because I don't need to do any. I, I mean, if I wanted to have stuff in here flapping, I guess I could, but there's enough going on already. I'm going to just put this here, that, and I guess this stick needs a little more bend to make it believable. I don't know if I can do that this way, but we'll try it. Can I bend the stick? I can't do all these at the same time. Okay, well, here we'll do them one at a time. I have to do a few. I have to do, I have to do three. So this is going to. It's going to be the same there and then here. It's going to be like that. So, little tweaks, uh, you know, it's like you always are refining where you can. And what's what's nice is it doesn't take a lot of time to do these things. It's in a, you can always go back and revise and tweak over and over again. So, now I have this here. No, I can animate this guy. So same thing, it's bouncing twice. So here and then here it's going to track down. And then I have breakdowns once again. So let me put my tweens in here. And then now I can put my breakdowns here and here. So on the way down, it's going to it's just like the body. Here, it's pushing down. Um, but the bottom of the little bindle doesn't want to catch up so it's going to be lagging behind which means it's going to squish down a little bit so let's adjust our uh, I can't adjust my there okay so what I'm trying to get is this. Okay, so it's going to want to be there, and it's going to push out a little bit. And then the same thing on the way back up, right? We're going to put another breakdown uh, here. It's already there. So now this wants to catch up to where it was before down here at this most extreme down point, and then in order to maintain its volume, it's going to squish in a little bit. So that's that cycle, and I can just double that over. Should be good. No, oh, I have a weird extra. What's going on there? Some some weirdness is happening there. Uh, here, where's my? There it is. So we can just duplicate this. And why is this a thing? I don't like that. Let's just. Oh. That's just because it's a straight up duplicate of the comp there. All right, so that's okay. That can be twin or not, doesn't matter. Just for consistency, we can do that. Okay, so now we got our laggy playback, but it's all in there. You know, it's match up for it's going to drop frames, but. There we go, there's our walk cycle. So our cat is done walking. And save this as uh, six. tilt on his head so maybe here his head's going to be see if this is gonna break things or will it be okay so that means here he's gonna be this way I think that's all right. Let's see. Okay. So there's our guy. Now we just got to do the environment. 